Kerry Washington, it's so great to see your face. I miss you, Phil. So good to see you. Look what I wore for you. Oh, the best. You are the coolest. Because you, you give us these shirts every time we come on the show. And I don't think in the years that I've been coming, I've actually said, Jimmy, thank you for these super cool shirts that you give us. And I was like, today I can thank him because I have to do laundry and it's actually the only thing I have. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy you're wearing it. It means it means a lot to me. Every time I see, oh, I love it so much. Uh, where where are you in quarantine, and who are you quarantined with? Um, I am in my home. I'm actually hiding in my bedroom, um, <laughs> and uh, I have a little tiny corner of my bedroom that's like an office, not a real office. But um, and uh, I'm with my husband and my kids, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and everything in your house is good. You're all set up. You have all your supplies and your things and. Yeah, and we're just discovering, like, I, like, you know, when you get down to the, the very end of your breakfast cereal, I'm like, let's make trail mix. <laughs> we're just going to, like, throw in random other stuff we have in the cabinet. It's actually, we were doing, like, morning story time with some other friends of ours where I was reading stories to our kids and their kids, and, um, and they were eating trail mix. And I was like, oh, that's what we do with the box of cereal that it's too little for anybody to eat. That's a great idea. It's a life hack. Yeah. <laughs> That's a life hack right there. I love it. Uh, do you have your Do you have your gloves and your mask and everything? I do. I have this super cute mask um, because my friend Marika, who is my friend Scott Foley, is very lucky to be married to my amazing friend Marika, and, um, okay. and she is phenomenal with sewing machine. And so she made matching masks for all the girls in my family and all the boys. The boys have Superman masks, um, and the girls we all have these really cute. They're like oh. Little let me see that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's a friend right there. Yeah. That's talents right there. Make it fashion, you know? Yeah, why not? Uh, are you, uh, are, are the kids interrupting you during uh, meetings? So I have, um, yes, I found that um, recently I gave them the homework assignment of creating signs that say do not enter, that mommy can hang on her <laughs> bedroom door. Do they read them at all? Not really, but it was good. It gave them an activity. <laughs> yeah, they don't really care, right? Yeah. Uh, when did you uh, start quarantining? Were you working on something? I know you're always busy. I was. We were like three days away from being done with The Prom, um, which is a film I was doing with Ryan Murphy and Nicole Kidman and Meryl Streep and James Corden. Oh, yeah. That's uh, yeah. the Tony-nominated uh, play. Yes, it was, it's an amazing musical, and um, and I hope we get to finish it. I'm sure he's maybe editing from afar now, but we, we have three more days of filming. Wait, do you, do you sing in this? I do a little bit. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is exciting. I want to hear you sing. That's great. It's so exciting. I sing a lot in high school and college, but I just haven't really done it in my professional life. Oh, <laughs> so my gosh. Yeah. How much um, do you miss having an audience? Do you miss it so much? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, I'm getting, weirdly, I'm kind of getting used to this. I feel like the interviews are kind of a bit more intimate. Yeah. And right now, I think everyone just wants to hear anyone talking in just some type of company that's different than who they're at home with. And some people are home alone, you know? So this means yeah. a lot to you that you're doing this. Oh, me too. Thank you. I, do you, I do you call up guys from the roots and have them just like play over the phone for you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did. I, I, I uh, FaceTimed Questlove yesterday because I was, I was interviewing uh, the Beastie Boys. I'm like, Quest, do you want to do this with me? Because I know you love the Beastie. Oh, so I he's like, that. so we did it together and like, it was great. And he's so nerdy when it comes to music. It's really, <laughs> it's, it's kind of awesome to watch. I love watching anyone at their thing being nerdiest at their thing. Like a, wa yeah. a wine expert being all nerdy about wine. I love that yeah. stuff. Like passion, you just feel the passion. Yes, you feel it. It's just it's in there, you know. When yeah, when you talk to a chef about how they make uh, a boil water, it they say yeah. it so passionately. It's like what? <laughs> it's it sounds so boring, but he was great. So I just, I everyone's getting creative and finding new ways to do stuff. It's kind of uh, in some ways, it's it's amazing to see. I saw that you were on Instagram. You 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 reunited with your scandal cast. Yes, I did. I, I went, Tony and I did an Instagram live. I, I was really excited about, um, he had done a really cool post about the census. And so we actually were 
going on live to just celebrate our anniversary because we're super corny and we have a pretend anniversary, so we celebrate it. Um, but then <laughs> I was like, I had been inspired to do my census immediately. I was going to do it anyway, but, but I was like, I don't want to show up for Instagram Live with Tony and not have done my census. So then we kind of like talked census, on, which was great because I had all these people say like, I finally did my census because I saw you and Tony talking about it. And it's so important for people to do. And there's literally no excuse, right? Like we're all, not all, but many of us are lucky enough to be able to be home right now. So what, what is the big point of, uh, of doing the census? Just so everyone. Funny you should ask, Jimmy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm good like that. It's good. It's how we get counted, you know, like every 10 years, our government counts how many people there are in government in order to be able to fund schools and fund hospitals. So even in the recovery from COVID-19, as we're all trying to get, not, I wouldn't say back to things how they were, but try to create a new normal where we're able to take care of each other and ourselves even better. If we don't get counted, we're not going to have the representatives we need, the number of classrooms and teachers we need, the hospital beds we need. We have to show up and be counted so that we matter in, in the face of government. Um, everybody, do your census. Fill it out now. Yeah. Do it this weekend. Why not? Get it over with.